walking there, I felt like a sensory overload, you know, it was like a sensory overload in every, every form I can imagine, it was um, the smell, visually it was like, I can't believe people, uh, you know, are living in these conditions. And They don't have energy, or they don't have, you know, they used to have flying toilets everywhere, just the way that, you know, that's why it smells that way, and that's why you have, it's basically in the sewage everywhere. The government is not doing anything to get them out of that situation. They're doing it for themselves. And then they have, you know, practical action, and, and they just created all these amazing um, ways to, to, to get them out of the situation, you know, so that's the, 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 the hopeful part and the amazing part. They created these this centers where people can go and use their bathrooms and they can, with that way, stay used to, you know, to create biogas and then the biogas, they can cook with the biogas. And I, I love how, how spiritual they are and how, and how hopeful and how um, trusting and they're just joyous and they're just happy and they're gonna and they're focused on the solution. I don't think if you come and you give something to them, they would appreciate it as much. I think I think that to me also, I mean, they have a huge sense of entrepreneurship there. You know, they wanna work, I mean they wanna do they are they're giving hundred and fifty percent all the time. They're giving their all. It's like it's it's so inspiring and they're doing everything they can to to find a solution. That did bring like joy to my heart.